DGS13 is providing to us a next image component that we can use to display our image. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use this next image component, but also I'm going to explain you why to use it instead of the image tag, for instance. And we are going to display some images here and play with the width, the height, all the combination to see how you can use next image inside your Next.js 13 application. All right, I got my application running. And if I come back to my project in the public folder here, as you see, I have put my image, which is me.gpg. And if I click to it, it's a nice image of me turning a course inside my office. All right, let's say that I want to uh, just display this image, uh, not on the layout, but on the main page here. What I would do is that I would go on the top here and I would import the component image from next image. OK, and once it's done, what I would do is to call this component image. And if you already worked or played a little bit with this component image, you might have some errors showing. It's totally normal. I'm going to explain you why you got these errors. So first, what I should do is to get my image. OK, and here the source path it's the root of my application. So here I got my public folder. So I'm going to zoom a little bit to explain you this. I got um, my image, which is here. So basically my image is at slash me dot GPG. OK, that's the first step. So if I come back to the app here, we see that I got the first error because the next image component need to be fulfilled with some data. And this data, those props are first the width. So here, let's say that we're going to put like a width like 1000. And we need also to put a height. However, my image already got a width and a height. So I'm not going to go to see the image size and calculate how I'm going to do. Let's just give a first example. Let's put a random number here. And then I'm going to put an alt and here this is me in my office. OK, so I'm going to save that and suddenly I, I don't get any error anymore. And if I come back to my app, I got my full image with me. And we see that it respected the size, the width, but not the height. Which is weird here is that I first put a height. And if I try to remove the height, we see that we will get actually an error. We need the height property. So when I come back, I need to put the height property. And we see that it took the width automatically. So that's the first thing, as you see, the image component is creating actually an image tag. And it's actually doing another source pass. And this image here is optimized. This is the purpose of the image component. The image component is here to optimize your image inside your Next.js application. So it's running a new version of your image with a different, uh, actually a different file size. So here we see 220 kilobits. And if I go here and I look at here, we got a, a, um, a file size 2.45 megabytes. So next image, reduce the weight of my image. That's the first thing. The second thing, we see that we've got an image that is here optimized. And the question we would ask is, is that responsive? So if I just remove that, we see that my image automatically fits to the maximum width. OK, so this is a very good thing at first. Like this image is not going to be in the overflow. It sticks to the browser size. So the image component has also this role. It's um, respecting actually the environment where you have put your image. All right, but what if I don't want to put the width and the height? How do I do? If I come back, I will still get the error. Well, there is a bit of a trick. The trick is to import, okay, me directly from the public folder, okay? So if I go up here, I'm on source. If I go up here and I go to public and here there is me, me.gpg. So I'm going to put me.gpg. What I can do is instead of putting a string as a pass here, I can put actually me like this. And if I do that and I come back, here, I'm going to upload and suddenly we see that the image is working without the width and the height. So if I try again to reduce, actually, it's going to respect the size. So I'm going to create a div and it's going to be a width of 500 pixels. OK, and inside I'm going to put my image. 
What's gonna happen in here, and I'm going to try to upload, the image respected the size of the div. So this is the first trick if you are using Tailwind CSS. You're not obliged to put the width and the height on the image, you can just use it that way. There's other props that you can use. You can use the loader here and put like a loader image while the image is going to be load. You can put here the path of another image if you want to display an image while it is loading. Another one that I like a lot that you can play with, it's quality. So here, quality is waiting for a number and this number can be between one and 100. So here I got a very nice quality, but let's say that I want to lower to the quality to one. And if I come back and I update my app, we're gonna see that the quality of my image is going to be really bad. Suddenly there will be a lot of um, like uh, um, a lot of pixels and stuff. So you can play also with the quality. If you are looking for more props to use this image component, you can go on the official documentation. You get source with eight, Alt, loader, fill, there's a lot of other um, uh, props that you can use to pass um, actually parameters if you want to play with your image. To finish this quick lesson, I want to tell you to go to see the video of Lee Robinson about using images. He's giving more information about this Next.js image component and I don't want to repeat everything that he said in to this video. But I'm going to give you also a last tip that I'm using in every application I'm doing with Next.js. With Next Image, you can push images such as GPG, PNG, etc., etc., but you can use also SVG. So here, if I change this and I put next.svg, okay, and I come back, Next.js understood that I want to push this SVG like an image. So image helps you also to display interface icon. And here I got an example, I got a nice interface icon and I'm going to download it, okay? And I'm going to drag it to my application in the public folder, right? So I got envelope in here and I'm gonna come back and I'm going to put this envelope component and I'm going to go here and there we go. We see that I got my envelope component and I don't got any size for now because actually I put this component, uh, this image component into a div. But if I come back here and I put a width of 36 and an eight of 36 also, and of course what I miss here is my source. So here I'm going to do again my source and here I can go directly to slash and here it's going to be envelope.svg. When I come back, I got my little icon which is here. So here I zoomed, but as you see here, it's an icon uh, like another one. So Next.js helps you also to deal with SVG components. And this is really useful because in most other uh, JavaScript framework, to display your SVG, you need uh, often to install a third party library, another plugin or something else. Here, Next Image takes care about the SVG. This is really nice to know. So we use next image because this component is directly made to do optimization on your image. You can play with different props depending on the, on the size, on the quality, on the behavior you want to give it to. And you can also use next image to display uh, SVG components or other elements uh, different from GPG or PNG.